Hey everybody, welcome back to Loop Hero. Uh, we are going to attempt to beat that second boss, uh, but we're going to attempt to beat the second boss with the warrior. There's just some additional stats in here that I feel like would be uh, nice to build. The trade-off is that we won't have the crit chances and stuff, but we'll have uh, vampirism, we'll have regen, just things that we're typically struggling with right now uh, with the rogue class. Now, again, a lot of this might be able to be fixed if I just did some big-ass farming runs. Um, and that might have to be what I do if I keep running into trouble here. But we're like, we've got to the boss, I would say, with relative consistency. Um, but it's, we haven't been able to pull it off. Our very first chance, I think, was our best. So, funny enough. Let's go warrior. We're going to go... I'm going to put the vampire mansion back in. Not going to use the treasury, or maybe I should. <laughs> you know what? Let's actually do this. Um, the the healing that we get from the wheat fields kind of does what the vampire mansion does to the villages over time. And it just makes things a little bit more difficult. This is nice to get better drops early to fight vampires. But um, let's take the treasury instead and see how this feels. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Let's rock and roll. Warrior chapter two. Okay. Okay, game. Give me all you got. This stuff should auto-equip at the start, no? You can usually get it in there if you... Even without pausing, but still. So I think that the running consensus is that evasion is pretty much like the strongest thing. Where do I want to do this? Grove. Now, I think one thing I'm doing is I'm being a little too intense. I do like a bunch of groves back to back. And the problem is that the rat wolves can spawn, but they can also like move. And so they're a little bit unpredictable that way. Um, I'll maybe limit myself to two. And we'll see how that goes. One thing I've talked about is trying to have just a little bit more restraint with just throwing down additional enemy tiles. But it's difficult, man. Uh, let's take, let's take regen, actually. Okay, it looks like our peak is coming in pretty quick. We can do a uh, chrono thing up in this corner. So we'll aim, if we can, we'll do, uh, we'll aim for evasion and damage to all. I think that would be, like, the perfect combo against that boss, but it really depends. Oh, it's so weird not getting just a ton of items uh, when you do your loot, too. But I vastly prefer this method where you can kind of, you can make those decisions on the fly. Um, I'll go here for now. We can meadow this area. I don't want to start spawning these too aggressively yet. We'll keep that road lantern in our back pocket. Vampirism, yes, 13%. Pretty nice jump. The other thing that you're limited with with the rogue is you just you can't regen, you can't heal, you have like 5% vampirism built in. So you really need to just like buff your damage and probably evasion, I guess. I just keep telling myself that evasion isn't as strong as it, everyone says it is, but I think <laughs> I think I'm just wrong on it. I think invasion is too strong. And I don't want to admit it, but I would like to. I would like to think that there's multiple ways to do these builds. So, um, hmm. Let's place this right here. Very predictable where that chest is going to be.
We're at five now here. Ooh, hello. Yeah, we definitely need some better gear here. This is where the, the vampire mansions come in nice, is in the early part of the game. Uh, you can get some higher quality gear a little bit faster. Okay, so there's our peak. Just want to get this meadow down. Uh, 20% to counter. Versus vampirism. I think let's keep the regen going. We can really start to, like, theory craft our build once we start getting our first trait. Ah, treasury, okay. Let's do that. Uh, do I want to put a village over here by the Chrono Crystal? Because then I can put the wheat field beside it. That's going to spawn a lot of those, uh, a lot of the scarecrows, so... This is our danger zone right now, and it's not dangerous yet. Eventually, things will get kind of hairy in here. So if I do a village on this spot, and I wheat field behind it, I know we're not getting that heal right now, but we don't necessarily need it. I'm just trying to plan for, like, we get a big heal here, fight, we get a decent heal here. If I put a... If I put a uh, field above it, only the Chrono's only impacting it once. Hmm. Aim is throwing a lot of counter stuff at us, but I think I'm gonna stay with the vampirism right now. definitely feel the lack of item drops with uh without having the vampires because even with these blobs i would just vampire these tiles to get something going Populating the area around our treasury. I'm just gonna spread this out, have a grove up here for funsies. I'm hoping to maybe get an oblivion before we uh, before we spawn goblins, but I don't really want these road lanterns to fall off too much. I think we'll take that. So, I think we just have to bite the bullet. It's down here. It's outside the chrono, thankfully. Okay, here we go. Here we go. That's nice. Get rid of that before he even comes out. Excellent. Uh, we have another wheat field here that will spawn more, more scarecrows. I'm kind of okay with uh, spawning ghosts off the skeletons, I think. Let's do that. And then... it for now. Boss slime coming in hot. So somebody pointed out that they think that I'm getting the reward for these quests when I pass back through the village. So we did, well, obviously we got a drop here, but I want to see if when we go through again, if we get uh, another item. 
Because there were definitely times with the rogue where we were getting items not just at the expected uh, campfire. Another village will spawn bandits, which is not super cool. Take that big heal. Yeah, this could hurt. We got boss slime, we got harpies just slamming into us. Love that. Look at the damage from that. That was just a gross little trio that we ran into. Okay, simmer down. Now, realistically, it's, we're probably better served filling up our chronos before the treasury. The treasury is kind of like a nice to have. Um. Hold off. We'll see how our health is doing around here. Do I need to road lantern anything yet? Not really. Give me something nasty. Ooh. Looks like it might be okay. Evasion or magic damage. This is a healthy damage increase. We don't have any evasion going currently. I'm going to take this sword, and then if we find other evasion items here at, like, a relative, uh, relatively decent level, then we'll probably switch that in. Oh, hello. Damage to all four vampirism nine. Damage to all two vampirism ten. But magic damage. Let's go here. The damage to all in the vampirism. So we're at 22% vamp right now. Look at that. We're actually healing for like eight or nine per hit. We gotta take this now. Okay, we're going to come up on our first trait here, I think. There's a nice Oblivion. Alright, there's our first trait. Uh, get rid of this Bandit Camp. We're at, uh, how many rocks do we have out here? So this was 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 17, 18. And give us something nice. Full hand of Oblivion cards if we want them. 10% uh, chance upon hit of stunning target for one second. That's kind of nice too. Or extra damage for every potion used. The Oblivion's really handy because we can just get rid of problem tiles. And it makes us so much stronger. Um, I would probably want to play these first. probably want to save that for a grove so i'll put this here it still hits these two won't have that like hungry grove scenario i, I should say blood grove specifically for that tile you guys know what i meant and we could like calm down maybe this area if we want to wheat field this this would be okay to do I'm just thinking that we probably take these Oblivion cards. Makes us very survivable for very long. We can get out of really scary fights. Uh, don't have to worry so much about our uh, mountain placement or villages. So we can bomb the things that come in. This one's kind of interesting. I wouldn't mind trying this. And this is pretty nice too. Stuns for one second. 
on every 10 hits, roughly. I think I'm going to play it safe here and go with the Oblivion. That's like the least sexy trait, I think. But... That was nice. Shapeless Mass. Hey, do I have anything to to bomb right now? I don't think so. We're gonna have like one bandit there. That's fine. This is a lot of extra defense at the cost of some of our vampirism. I actually like our healing right now as we go. Uh, is there anything I should just destroy? Like this grove, maybe? And then these don't fall off, and we get the heal. Nice. This looks like more vampirism. And more vampirism. Slightly less damage. We get counter attack speed and vampirism. And then we can stack that here. Let's do that for now. It's so level four gear, but... Yeah, so that trade-off, we're kind of doing the exact same thing. But we're getting additional regen out of it, some attack speed, and some counter. This guy, look at his regen. Holy smokes. Kind of impressive, not gonna lie. Come on, Bucko. Yeah, I think. Well, here's the thing we're coming up on. The end of loop five. I'm going to keep the regen, I think. And then we can go all in on evasion as we go. Here we go. This is this is a nice change, I think. Drop the vampirism a tad. Now we'll change this vampirism over so we can stack that. That level five ring likely carries us through unless we have a big drop. Ooh. Okay. Okay. Evasion and Vampirism. Yep, that works. Do, do, do. Yep, see you later. Okay, so I have to get these things placed. Not worry about uh, goblins spawning in. Uh, if I place this one here, then we'll activate a meadow if we place it up in this section. So that's nice. We're at full health now. It's good. It's a good sign. Dropping a lot of evasion, but like, I want to up our max health. Ooh, okay, hello, hello, hello. Uh, counter and defense, or I shouldn't say or, it's different. Vampirism versus evasion. Do we start shifting into that now, maybe? Shift into some evasion. We're halfway to spawning boss. Let's take us to 15%. Uh, I don't know if we would switch this one in. Counter the defense. The magic damage is pretty hefty. Vampirism is at 25. Evasion's at... We can get evasion up a tad. Let's do that. 15. What we need is better weapons. We're only level 4 weapon at loop 6. Here's some evasion at the cost of vampirism, so the game's driving us that way, I will take it. 
Uh, so this is technically 19 defense, but that's fine. All right, let's let's let her ride here. Oh, I didn't notice the goblin camp. My bad. Have to fight an extra goblin now. That was fun. Yeah, I'll battlefield this. Bunch of chests. And we can do a mountain here, which would activate a meadow there, too. When we place around there. Uh, this one's not as strong as this one, because this activated a meadow. I could have placed down here, but I kind of want to use rocks for those, because we get the better HP bonuses for mountains. Um, yeah, we're good. I don't see any super scary tiles. Things are okay so far, actually. We're managing to keep up our regen pretty nicely. And actually, I should be placing this this specific area down here. Uh, I should place them underneath so that we can get adjacency bonuses by connecting all three. We have not had a single blood grove drop, and it's a bit concerning. I don't think we're gonna get our little rock fiend guys, you know. Let's maybe spread these out a bit. Let's do another scarecrow in here. I'm tempted to oblivion that that harpy. Keep the magic damage going. Yeah, so many groves. Wow. We don't. I think we probably want to get some healing in here, maybe. So I'll put like a random grove there. Might end up oblivioning the grove that we have down below. Perfect, and putting a village or something. Like, just for a little bit of extra healing. And then if we get wheat fields, we could also drop those here. I don't love having the chrono on the uh, on the wheat field for the extra scarecrows. Because they actually hit pretty hard, man. Hit pretty, pretty hard. Um, I think it's safer to place this like so. And then I would do a, a scarecrow. <laughs> we'll just call it a scarecrow field from now on. Yeah, so this one should have went down here. So I could go here and then extra rocks would go in the middle for a better uh, bonus. Another L here. Okay, do we give up some of our vampirism? It's all the vampirism we have left. Counter attack speed for magic damage, defense, and a damage increase? I think so. Big damage increase here. Attack speed. Yeah, we got to take that. And get some vampirism back at the cost of evasion. Defense is the same. Damage to all is pretty significant. Still level 6. I don't feel like counter is like an amazing stat, but... Let's take this. The damage to all could help with some of these mobs. And ultimately, I think against the boss, as we've theorized... This is a big evasion boost. Drops our damage for all and our defense, though. And we're heading into, like, loop 7. Okay. This 
to be damaged to all. I think maybe this would be good for us instead of that magic damage. We're still dealing 13 damage to all and 13 magic damage, so... So now anything on these tiles can become uh, ghosts, but also we have a bunch of chests at the early part of our run. And we're pretty much going to heal to full here, which is really nice. Also, I have meadows I can use here. We get those. We have a boss harpy here. Do I want to just delete that? I don't know. We're, we're kind of doing pretty well for, for damage. Nothing else I need to activate out here. This one will need to be activated. This one will need to be activated. So if I play this here, we get the bonus, and then we have a meadow spot. Hmm. These are tough calls, man. I think I'm going to trust my gut and stay with the evasion. Ooh, what do we got here? So magic damage, we take damage for all. We drop 13. All of our magic damage would be gone, but damage to all goes up to 17. Slightly more HP. A little bit of attack speed and counter. Yeah, I think that's probably worth it. Uh, we also have this one. Evasion and vampirism. Maybe that's better. Yep, let's do it. Uh, this fight's going to be very difficult, I think. But then we heal and everything else looks kind of okay. I could oblivion it if I want to just play it safe. But I also want better items. <laughs> we have uh, 13 damage to all. Let's, let's try it. Yep. Should have oblivioned it. fight. Holy smokes. Okay. I'm not going to use the pole arm. Ritual sword. I don't think so either. Small damage increase, but I, I think we need the healing now more than ever. Let's go here. We're going to heal a tad. These fights should be okay. Dogs. I might just start oblivioning harpies as they come in. I also wonder if, like... I wonder if this mountain peak is worth the harpy. Like, you, if you don't build it, you're probably missing out on so many of, like, just the bonuses of getting all the rocks together, but... All right, defense is increased by one after every loop. That would be nice if I plan on going, like, super long. Hero rushes into battle head-on, and his first attack has a 75% chance to stun each enemy for one second. That's not bad. Or time flies faster, so we heal more. I think we have healing covered from Oblivion cards. Uh, let's go Battering Ram. Road Lantern anywhere helpful. We have two stronger dog fights here. 
Uh, this wheat field is kind of scary. Let's knock that down a bit. Meadow. Uh, we're going to need a rock out here. I need to heal right now. I think we're okay. Twenty magic damage. We would give up ten percent of our evasion, but I wouldn't mind seeing just how strong this feels. So we're hitting for sixty-three. So you see that our top end's forty-three. Plus the magic damage came in at 63. It's not bad. It's level 9 rings, so... Oh, of course the mimic. Of course! Gotta be. Evasion or Vampirism. Uh, this is a straight increase. We lose evasion and attack speed, but actually, yeah, we do need the max HP too. We need the HP boost, I think. I don't have a... Well, I could do a... I could do this here. It's not getting chronoed. I think I'm going to Oblivion there. It's a boss, it's a quest, but I don't want to deal with a harpy right now. Like, we're healing for a lot with this vampirism right now. The downside is we don't have any evasion, and we don't have a lot of damage to all, which is like my running boss theory. I'll just place this because I don't have a better option. I can't believe we haven't dropped any blood growths. None. Uh, probably do one down here. Not great, but... It'll do. I'll start trying to fill this in, too. When we're out healing the damage we take, damn. That's very rare. So 624 we start. A very good sign. How long can it last is the question. That is the question. Take that one. Livy in the camp. I think we should start considering summoning the boss. It's a huge damage boost. 30 defense increase. Well, 14 damage or 14 defense increase but we would lose our damage to all we lose 8% of our vampirism as well uh, let's keep going what we have right now seems to be working can't negate all of the enemy's damage 